this is Roman. Do you read me? Is it true you're here at Coronas? <laughs> Doc? What are you doing back here? I had the same distress call you did, no doubt. Been trying to find out what's causing this frenzy, and I think the answer's in Kenny's lab. But we need more firepower to punch through. Roger that. I'm inbound. <laughs> This facility is an emergency lockdown. Elevator lockdown has been bypassed. Initiating defense protocols.
procedure. Initiating diagnostics. You're just in time to witness my breakthrough. Isn't this spectacular? Look at them all. guys.
unnecessary. I'm sure I only needed to adjust the frequency. Yeah, sorry for the inconvenience. Hope saving your life didn't put you out. Oh, no, I forgive you. I know carnage and mayhem is part of your nature, and without it, you just wouldn't be you. Or nearly as useful to me. You made a device that can drive the acrid crazy. Well, I would need to run more experiments to know for sure. Establishing a baseline of sanity for these creatures might be prohibitive of itself. Nevertheless, I'm glad the base was able to witness my breakthrough. What, you telling me you did this on purpose? No, not at all. But the experiment is still a resounding success. The acrid were influenced. Don't you see? I figured out how they communicate. Auxiliary power systems at 30%. James, a moment. Listen, I don't want to cause a general panic or anything, but just glancing at Coronas while heading in, she's in bad shape. The way the storms are increasing in intensity, I'm concerned it's only a matter of time until the structural integrity is compromised. I don't know, Doc. Seems like a pretty good reason to panic. You got any suggestions? I may. There are some tests I'd like to run, but I'd need your help. Wait for my call and we'll chat properly. In the meantime, I'm sure Braddock wants to catch up with you. Stop. The Acrid are retreating. Looks like Delta Station's in the clear. The swarm is subsiding in the hangar as well. Whatever you did seemed to work, Jim. We're ever thankful. I'm happy to help. Just glad to be back home. Science is not an exact science. At its best, science is, is chaotic and unpredictable. Often produces a foul odor that you cannot scrub from your fingers. Nature has bottomless mysteries and contradictions, a fanfare of ironies and impossibilities. Male seahorses bearing litters. Mm. Frogs consuming their own offspring. Entire population infused with its planet's lifeblood. I've observed these things with my own eyes. I've carved the verities of truth from them with my bare hands. Any answer, and I, I do mean any answer, can be dissected into being. Any secret can be cut open when the scalpel is sharp enough. This is science, right? 80% uh, patience, and 20% is cutting things open. <laughs> Until next time, Mother. Hey, boss. Nice to see everything still running as smooth as ever. I knew you are still alive. <laughs> so where the hell you been? 
So, you fought a G-Class Acrid, fell down the side of a mountain, landed on the other side of Shaq's Peak, and somehow survived for two weeks before you got back into Comrade? Thankfully, the rig was flush with rations and ammo. Lucky timing, I guess. <laughs> I don't know if you've got a good luck charm or you are one. <laughs> Funny how often luck feels just like getting my ass kicked. <laughs> <sighs> Jim, you know, I... Uh... Take you at your word, of course, but uh, I'm sensing there's a little more to your story. Well, now that you mention it, there is this. What is that? Where did you find that? I'm sensing that you already know the answer to that. Don't toy with me, Peyton. What did you find? Why don't you tell me what I found? We're the first humans to set foot on this planet, so obviously I didn't find some 50 year old Nevek base, did I? Did you keep your voice down. Is that really all you have to say? No. It's important you understand something, Jim. Keeping the first colony under wraps wasn't my idea. It's one of the terms I had to agree to for Nevik to green light this mission in the first place. Perception is vital to their interests. I'll go to great lengths to conceal such a debacle. Coronas was set to land far, far from the original site, but the storm forced us down here. Nearer to the truth than I could have even ever hoped. Hoped? Why would you hope for this? That's why. General Charles Braddock, commander of the first Neo Venus Colonial Expeditionary Force. Your old man led the first colony. Led it and lost it. And he was never the same. Something happened here. Something you would never talk about. Right, so you're here to what? Fulfill your father's dreams? Redeem his failures? I'm here to solve the energy crisis and maybe get some answers with your help. Consider this an opportunity, a standing contract for further investigation. Not for Coronas, but for me personally. And I'll pay a premium for your ongoing discretion. So I get to lie to everybody too? If a word of this reaches Nevek, they'll take back the whole operation. Put it under paramilitary command. I hate lying to the men, Jim, but it's for their own good. Trust me. I'll see what I can see. By the way, Jim, a supply drop came in while you were away, and if I'm not mistaken, we got all the parts we need for a couple of major upgrades to your rig. One of them's a gas torch. I've got some contracts for you on the new pipeline, so uh, I need you ready to do some welding. The other upgrade? Well, I'll just let Gail show you that one.